Hi everybody, welcome back. Good morning. And a beautiful morning it is as well. Yeah. Saturday the 4th. Is it? 5th. 5th to tomorrow, Sunday. Is it? Sunday. Is it? Sunday anyway, <laughs> anyway, it's it's a Saturday in February. We're in Cadiz. Cadiz. So we did so decide to come and have a walk around Cadiz. Yes, we did. <laughs> nice park last After night though. After doing a little bit of viewing on it last night online, we thought, yeah, we need to go there. <laughs> we need to come and have a look, don't we? Yeah. So it's uh, lots of architecture here, lots of history. Uh, not Probably going to like bore that. you with all that, but we're going to take you around anyway. Um, and then we're going to try and make a mad dash to Portugal either tonight or tomorrow morning. We'll see. See how long we're here for. But uh, yeah, come around with us. We're in Cadiz. We're, in, we're just going around the old town. Cadiz is quite a big place, yeah, isn't it? Yeah, very big. Um, not quite difficult to park with a, in a motor home or a camper or van or something. Yeah, we found one place, the, the sort of the back of the old town, back of the walled city. Um, uh, that's, you can, I don't mean you can see it that. over there. It's, um, it's not cheap. There's a, a lot of peas. <laughs> a lot of parking is underground. So you're going to get a van in there. Um, so this is really good. There's a guy on there. It, it's not cheap. It's uh, 14 euros for 12 hours and lots of steps below. I think five or six hours is anything between eight and ten. Yeah, so it's a few quid, but it is secure um, ish. And uh, all our cameras are on, all that sort of stuff. So. Once, once the van's safe, we're, we're happy then to have a wander around. So, right, come around with us. Um, nice and we, morning, and it's a, supposed to get up to about 18, between 18 and 20. That'll be all right for early February, eh? That'll be okay. <laughs> uh, cold snap coming to the UK, we heard. You're probably in it now by the time you're watching this video, but uh, <laughs> another cold snap by the sound of it. But uh, we'll be back soon enough. Yeah. Right, let's walk around here. Let's have a nice uh, day around the old town of Cadiz. I feel like I'm in the Wild West. It is a little bit, Very much so. What a lovely little place. And this is only a really tiny part of it as well. So there's a, it's a, it's a, there's a few chapels here. We'll have a look in a second. Um, it's, it's obviously it's fortified, clearly, um, but there's a few chapels in here. Uh, not quite sure of its purpose at the moment, but we'll figure that out. But it's um, it's absolutely beautiful. Yeah, it's absolutely stunning place. Lovely. See all the old bits in the sea as well, Kyle, mm, all over yeah, there. Yeah, there's all fortifications on those rocks out there as well. We Beautiful. said that from where we was parked last night though, didn't we? Yeah, yeah, So yeah, inside the walls here, there's um, an exhibition uh, from uh, to commemorate that um, that explosion in 1947. Yeah. Quite sobering, really, when you look at it, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah. Most of them were buried alive, or hit by rocks and just killed that way. Ten thousand casualties, thousand deaths, and, and more deaths than a tsunami some years before. And you think tsunami? What? <laughs> But yes, there's a tsunami here as well, but that's to there come There was out. also, a, it says there's a little orphanage here called the Cot House. Cot House, yeah. Uh, 26 of those little children were killed. They were only anything from about three, three, four, three, yeah. four years old, it says. It was like an um, underground munitions store. They had depth charges and all sorts of stuff in there. And they had some German depth charges that were made of this, um, what did that what did you call that, gun cotton? Something like that, which is highly volatile. And they were just, you know, they got glass, it had got glass windows, so it was getting hot, cold, hot, and eventually these things went and took everything with them. But yeah, you look at the, the raid, the blast raid, it took everything out, didn't yeah, it? Yeah. Windows, took all the roof in, and, and uh, they just devastated yeah. the whole area, so um, yeah, quite sobering, really. Yeah, yeah, quite sad. Yeah, but um, yeah, nice to 
Well, not nice to see stuff like that, but it's a bit of history, isn't it? Something you wouldn't have known, or I wouldn't have known. It's really not a bad place to have a wander around for a few hours. And look at that sky. Absolutely gorgeous. It did say it was going to warm up the next few days. Even, I mean, I've, I've seen a lot of street lights these last few weeks. They are very, very impressive. Actually, I've got a thing now for grills and doors. Yes. I mean, <laughs> the amount of places we've seen with like ornate grills on the windows oh, yeah. and, and doors that you just think, oh, look at that door. It's <laughs> <laughs> very, very, very ornate, isn't they? And, yeah. I mean, look at this beach here. This looks beautiful. Hold on. Bit of a dry store for some of the boats, look. Beautiful. It's stunning, isn't it? They do love their sculpture. And the graffiti. Oh, the graffiti, <laughs> yeah, that's one, one of our things, but there is a lot of it about. A bit of bike envy going on as usual. Strong. La Caleta. on a previous video um, from another channel where I can't remember the name but so I'll try and remember it um, where the youngsters well everybody he jumped off this so it's like about three, three to five metres deep there in the middle even low tide and they scramble up the bank there and do it again uh, I'm not doing that today <laughs> it's been too chilly amongst other reasons Did you know this is the castle of San Sebastian? How is it? It is temporary closed. Yeah, it is. As you can see, with a big chain on it. But you can trace, you can trace its history back all the way back to the Greek gods or something. So yeah, that's that's a few years ago. I would imagine. It is. <laughs> Cherry Open. Open. It's temporarily closed, but I don't know what that means. Maybe structural or something. But it, uh, I just looked it up actually, it said a lot of people just just walk along this uh, and is there a U-turn and uh, go back, which is what we're doing. <laughs> and you can see uh, Cadiz there stretching out into the distance. We, we stopped oh, way over there somewhere, where those two little bumps are on the horizon. Huh? I'm glad we didn't walk it either, it's a bloody long way. Yeah, a few of those around, isn't there? That lovely little street. Mm -hmm. Having a bit of lunch in uh, Cadiz. A um, bit of tapas. A bit of tapas, some uh, fried anchovies. There was cheese on that plate, that's gone. Some <laughs> croquettes of something or other. Fresh bread. Cerveza, uh, Rioja. And it's Saturday afternoon. And it feels all right. Two euro twenty for the wine. Two euro twenty, so that's two quid for a large wine. I don't know what the beers were, um, but they wouldn't. They're not going to be expensive. But lovely little setting. Wish we sat in the sun. 
I'm definitely seeing my <laughs> I'm definitely seeing my sunglasses lying there in the, in the camera. That looks so bad today though. It does on there. Looks like I've got goggles on. And get some meter balls. My meter balls. <laughs> this little street up here, the way the buildings come, it reminds me of, I know I've been a bit bonkers, Diagon Alley. <laughs> but it's not quite as dark as that. So pretty. Absolutely. Like, we, um, I don't think it's, it's the same type of culture. Itali I think Italian and Spanish is very similar um, in, in feel. Yeah. Although, that, I mean, that street's beautiful down there. Didn't yeah, it's not as expensive as you'd think it would be really more of a big city. Yeah, yeah. Maybe it's not as touristy. Obviously. Maybe it's more, it feels more lo lots of local people here, doesn't it? Um, there are tourists here, obviously, us being two of them. <laughs> but um, just a cute little place to walk around for a few hours. Walk our tapas off. <laughs> That's nice, yeah. I've been stopped for a drink. I felt, um, I felt somehow obliged to buy a bit of. When um, you put the menu in front of us and says English? Yeah. And this is what we have on offer? It was like, oh. It was okay. all right, that nice, you know. It was okay. Do you know some uh, 24, 24 euros? We'd have paid more than that. We've had two drinks each and some tapas. Yeah, so go £5 a pint, there's 10. Seven quid for a Rioja, 14, 24. Exactly, there you go. 24, and we had tap. We had four plates of tapas as well. Yeah. yeah. And bread. And crackers. bread, crackers, crisp. crackers, crisp. I mean, rip, rip off Britain right there. Shall I film you filming me? <laughs> no. <laughs> I, mean, I thought the alleys couldn't get any tighter. <laughs> we think we found the market. You should see this. Can't wait to look inside here. This is going to be incredible. Good afternoon in Cadiz. Urchins. And oysters. On a new street there. They're live, aren't they? Yeah, you eat them all. This place is bustling. Oh, look at this. So lots of little tapas bars all around the outside, and this is the this is the central market. Wow, we. Everything. Look, like all butchers down that side by the look of it. We've been ripped off on peppers back home. These are twice the size here. So uh, smell of vision. Uh, this is the. Uh, Fish my and there's two oil, two oils. I've never tried sea urchin. Unbelievable. This is the second oil of this um, market where it's just seafood. It's, it's just literally, it just blows your socks off, it really does. There is everything here. Squid, tuna, every, well everything. Langoustines, prawns, conger. Sun's behind us. Gotta say, and this is my words, I'm not putting... Our food in the UK is rubbish. When you come to a place like this, and it's a big social event as well, yeah. isn't it? I just said everybody's out, and I've never ever seen a food market like it. It's, it's, it's a, a, I've never seen one as big as this. It, may, it makes me, it, I've said this a few times on this trip, it makes me wonder why I'm even in the UK, and I wish I'd known earlier, or maybe I did know earlier, or whatever, but you come to a place like this, their food is literally amazing. And it's like they come out shopping, but it's also a social event. Yeah. There's all tap there, all having a beers for two, two euro fifty for a pint of beer. There, that's like, that's about just over two pound a pint. It's, it's, yeah, it's, 
it blows you it literally blows your mind yeah. there's cheese stores there's uh, iberico hams serrano um fruit and veg fish in fact fish is the biggest part fish is to, well, it's four it's four lines of uh, fishmongers down there four lines of them and they've got everything in there yeah everything just it's just beautiful it really is and this is just where the locals come to shop have a beer have and a chat it's, in the, it's a, all the culture the old oh it's an old market yeah, this is yeah market. well the, it, it's old around it the market in the middle is is like a, a concrete built thing but around it you can see the columns uh, behind us so the, the, the market around is, uh, is is very old it's just crazy it's just crazy <laughs> I love it I bloody love it well we just uh, some amazing shops here we're just coming out uh, to where the cathedral is so, yeah this is where the cathedral is I mean The smells, well, so there we go, there he is, the cathedral. Look at that. cathedral seven euros each um, but you've got to go in there that's just like blows you away we know so, <laughs> weird that was yeah a bit emotional don't know why um, anyway with that seven euros you can get into the museum and also climb the tower which is what we're doing now huh. <laughs> but it's not steps strangely it's like a never-ending slope and I think we're going to be very high up by the time we get up there. And slightly. <laughs> <laughs> we have a climb here. <laughs> we're 95 foot of 131. Bit of a replica of the clock mechanism. Don't touch. No talk hard. Yeah, no talk hard. Don't touch. So we keep going. Just when you thought it was over. Well, we. What happens when these ring? You're going to feel them, aren't you? The view from up here is absolutely stunning. Cruise ship over there. 
new suspension bridge. Oh, it's a beautiful place, absolutely fantastic. Do not miss Cadiz. I know, yeah, I've just seen it, yeah. The cruise liner there, and the party's all happening. Definitely down in the square down there. What a great feel, brilliant place. Just rang, he blew our eardrums out, <laughs> and everybody else was up here. <laughs> you still hear it ringing a bit now. <laughs> oh, made me jump, that did. <laughs> um, the bell's only there. <laughs> off an elbow trip. Norwegian? Yeah, Norwegian, yeah. There's another one uh, over there somewhere. You can't quite make it out. It's behind that building. Beautiful, beautiful place. I mean, let's look at this. <laughs> Sometimes you have to just stop and look back, don't you? Yeah. Every turn you take, you just find something else. The tree. tree's amazing. <laughs> Which trees can be amazing. The trees can be amazing. But the roots. Yeah, yeah, it is beautiful. That's it for Cadiz. It's certainly not. There's loads to see. Lo there, there, there cannot be. It's a Saturday afternoon here and there cannot be anyone at home. <laughs> it's packed. Because they're all here, aren't they? Yeah, every little street you go down and every little tapas bar, you look inside and it's full. Yeah. You've got churches, you've got architecture, you've got the cheap beer, cheap tapas, cheap food, amazing views. I mean, look at the sea here. It's just incredible. Beautiful, clean. You can see down. I bet you can see down about ten meters down mm. there. Yeah. It's amazing. I mean, you can see how blue the sea is. Just beautiful. Yeah, don't skip the Cadiz. We nearly did. Yeah. Glad we didn't. So it's not a tour of Cadiz we've just done. It's just a little bit of a taster. Um, that sightseeing you can do on the bus, and there's also um, English trips you can yeah, do. Yeah, like tour. They talk and take you around the city, take you to all yeah. the hot spots and stuff. But we've we've had a mooch around for an afternoon. You could definitely do a couple of days here, no problem at all. Yeah. Just soak in the atmosphere up in you. Mm. So and uh, for a big city you would think it'd be expensive, but it's it, not. it is quite reasonable. But it's a it's a local really, city in it, which yeah. is different to some of the touristy cities mm. maybe. It's a local city. Yeah, it all seems quite reasonable priced. Yeah, I loved it. Love walking around here today. Mm. Really yeah. nice. So we're gonna head off. Uh, we are gonna go to Seville. Sevilla. Sevilla. We wasn't going to, but our route takes us right past, so we may as well. Yeah. And that that'll give us then we think about eight or nine days on the Algarve, wasn't it? Looking around there. Yeah. Before we have to head up to Lisbon. So, right, that's our future plans. <laughs> right. Uh, hope you enjoyed that. We certainly have. Yeah, it's been great. It's been great round here. Absolutely. Definitely give could it, We nearly missed it. We nearly didn't go. Not but, so easy uh, for parking in the city, but there's plenty. On plenty the around, skirts, plenty of van space to park yeah. and if you go right to the edge of the old town yeah. if, you're th if you're there early like we were you can park your van there no problem 14 yeah. euros for 12 hours yeah. uh, it's not cheap but hey um, but if yeah, you they... do a few hours it is less than that obviously yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. so we'll uh, give that a wrap thanks so much for watching yep. give, give us, us that thumbs, thumbs up, up if you like subscribers are still doing well so thank you for that if you haven't why not do it do it do it now <laughs> do it now
<laughs> keep the comments coming it's been great so yeah we've had a great time so far so uh, catch up with you in the next one thanks so much see you next time see ya bye bye bye, bye.